Today's video will show you 10 easy ways to save and increase battery life on your Windows 11 laptop. Feel free to use the chapters to navigate between the 10 methods if you've already tried some of them. As always, if the video helps, remember to leave a like and feel free to subscribe for more helpful videos. Let's get into the 10 methods. The first method is to prevent certain apps from running every time you start your laptop. These apps will start automatically and run in the background which uses resources that can use extra battery life. To disable startup applications in Windows 11, first head to the main settings page. You can get there by searching for it in the search bar. In the settings, click on apps from the list of options on the left. In here, click on startup, which should be the bottom option on the list. On the next page, you will see the list of apps and some will be turned on, which means they will run at startup. Feel free to go down the list and turn off any apps you know you don't use. You can use the sort function at the top to help show you the apps that have the biggest impact on performance. Method two is similar to the last one and it is to close any apps running in the background or those that you aren't using. You can close apps that you aren't using normally, but to check for certain background apps, we are going to head to the task manager. To get there, simply type task manager into the search box. When the task manager opens, look down the list in the processes tab for apps that are using a lot of resources such as CPU or memory and close these when you aren't using them. Don't end the task though for any programs you don't recognize as they might be system services. The third method to save battery life is to enable power saver mode. This is different to battery saver and can be enabled in the settings. Head to the settings and choose system from the options on the left side. Now choose power and then on the next page, find where it says power mode. In the drop down box, choose best power efficiency from the list. You could choose balanced if you were already on high performance, but it's up to you. Above this option, you can adjust how long your screen will stay on. Lower these times to further reduce battery usage. Method four is to change more specific elements of the power plan that we have selected. To do this, search for control panel in the search bar, and then when the control panel opens, go to system and security, and then power options. Find your current power plan on here and click on the blue option called change plan settings to the right of it. Now click on change advanced power settings to open a new window. In these advanced settings, first find the option called sleep and click on it to expand it. There are a few options that we can change in here, such as turning on hibernate. Now find the option called processor power management and expand it and expand the option called maximum processor state. You should see two options with one that says on battery. Feel free to change this number to something like 80% initially on battery. This will limit your processor to 80% and will save battery, but you will lose some performance obviously, especially when running demanding programs. So if it's not worth it, then you can return to here and change it back to 100%. This is quite an extreme settings change and I'd only recommend doing it if you are desperate to reduce power usage. If you find that 80% doesn't make much of a difference to the performance, then you could go even lower to save more battery. Remember to click apply to save any changes that you've made and stay within here for method five. The fifth method is to focus on the brightness options. Still within the window we have open, find the option called display and click on it to expand it. You should see more options than me, but find the one called enable adaptive brightness and expand that. If you want to, you can turn it on for when your laptop is on battery. If you don't like adaptive brightness and if you leave it off, you can change the brightness in the power plan settings screen, which was the page we were on before this window opened and it should still be open in the control panel. You can change the brightness for both when on power and also when using the battery. Method six is to make sure Bluetooth is turned off if you have it, as well as turning off Wi-Fi when not using it. Although this might be rare, if you really need to save battery, turning these off will definitely help. Thankfully, in Windows 11, it's nice and easy to turn off Bluetooth. All you need to do is go to the main settings page, which can be accessed by searching for it. In the settings, you can turn off Bluetooth in the Bluetooth and devices section, and you can turn Wi-Fi off in the network and internet section. 
The seventh method is to free up disk storage space on your laptop. A drive that is close to capacity will run less efficiently and use more power. There are a few quick ways to free up space on your device that I'll cover. Firstly, it might be worth emptying your recycle bin, which can be done by right clicking on it. You could sort through your downloads folder or uninstall a program you are no longer using. You can uninstall a program by going to settings, then apps, then installed apps, and then by finding the app you want to uninstall, and then finally, click on the three dots icon and choose uninstall. For even more ways to help free up space on your device, click the card on screen now to watch another video of mine with plenty of methods to try. Method eight is to quickly test to see if there are any power issues that could be causing our battery to drain faster. To do this, we're going to run the power troubleshooter. This can be done by first going to the main settings page and once in there, click on system from the options on the left side, although you should be in there by default. In the system settings, click on troubleshoot and then choose other troubleshooters. Now look down the list for the troubleshooter called power and click on run next to it. Allow Windows to look for and suggest any possible solutions that might help. The ninth method to save battery in Windows 11 is to physically clean your laptop, especially the vents. This can include things like ensuring your PC is free from dust. It's a good idea to keep your device as clean as possible as dust can cause overheating, which slows down your machine. The cooler your laptop can run, the less the fans will be required and the more efficient it will be, extending your battery life. You could also try to improve the ventilation around it or even invest in better cooling options that run more efficiently. The tenth and final method is nice and easy. All you need to do is unplug any peripheral devices from your laptop, if you have any, when you are not using them. Any device, such as a wired mouse or USB stick, might draw unnecessary power from your laptop's battery, so if you keep them unplugged when not in use, you should see a slight increase in battery life. Those are my 10 easy ways to save and extend battery life on a Windows 11 laptop. Thanks so much for watching. If you found the video helpful, remember to leave a like and feel free to subscribe for more tips in the future. Click the card on screen now to watch a video of mine showing you 10 easy ways to improve the sound quality on your Windows 11 laptop. Thanks again for watching and I will see you in another video.